Yes, I love animals so much. When I was a kid, I had cats and dogs, and I treated them just like my own family. I think it's important to show animals love and not mistreat them because animals need love too. And animals always get hurt and tortured. Like a few days ago, I was on YouTube, not YouTube, I was on Facebook, and people were sharing this video about these pigs and animals getting tortured. And that made me cry because I was like, why are people so heartless and so cruel and so selfish? they selfish because they kill all these animals just for us to eat and stay alive. But to be honest, I'm glad I don't eat um, all these foods no more because I realize animals is getting killed just for us to eat and that's just sad like I can't imagine being an animal and being tortured like that and it just made me cry because I love animals so much and they do not deserve to be tortured like that it's just sad it's sad when you're an animal lover like I am it's just hard to just look at stuff like that and realize that these are animals getting killed just for us to eat. It's just, it's so sad. Wow, thank you. My book is coming along well. I've been writing poems every day, probably like four poems a day, because I love to write. Writing is so relaxing. It relaxes my mind because, like I was saying on part one of my interview, like it helps me stay motivated and it helps my mind relax. That's something I really love to do. And I've been writing poetry for 10 years now. And each time I write a poem, I make sure it's different. I make sure I reinvent myself. I make sure that it's a different topic. And that's how I love to create different things because I want to give people something different every time I write and release a poem. I make sure before I publish a poem, it's not just any poem. It's something meaningful, something that can have a long-lasting legacy. Because that's how when I write poems, I think about how it would impact lives like in generations. I'm just dedicated and I'm very passionate about that. And that means a lot to me. And I mean that from my heart. Well, you know, my birthday is in three weeks. February 28th is my 23rd birthday. And I'm so excited about this because, you know, it's so amazing to spend time with your close family and friends for your birthday. And just having a great time and just not worrying about stress. Just, it's just so beautiful. You have to cherish your family and you have to, you know, tell them how much you love them and, you know, how much they do for you. That means a lot to you. It's just a beautiful thing. I love my family so much and it definitely would never go unnoticed because they do so much for me. And I cherish that. My birthday is coming up, and I keep crossing out the days and the calendar and just saying, okay, it's 22 more days to my birthday. Now it's 21 days to my birthday. I'm so excited to celebrate my birthday. Well, when I'm not doing much and I'm relaxing, and spending time at home. I just like to watch movies, cook meals for me and my family, and watch TV, laying down, not working hard, and just living my life and going places because no matter what you do in life and no matter how hard work you do, you have to make time for yourself and your memories. Because life go by so quickly and, you know, you have to embrace and you have to experience life. 
You really have to experience life because life don't wait on nobody. Actually, time don't wait on nobody. But you have to make sure that you live your life and just, you know, catch your, these incredible memories. I remember, I remember a few years ago, I started recording my daily life, not knowing that I would make a film about it, but just going places just to, you know, have memories because I'm like, if I don't go to this amusement park next year, at least I went this year. So, oh my God, like, I have to record special moments because you never know if you have the opportunity to go again and you don't know if that, you know, you will have that fun again. So you have to really enjoy those memories and have fun. And that's why I'm so grateful for special moments and special occasions that I go to because I'm allowed to come out of my shell and have fun. Even when I'm nervous, something really makes me step out my shell and just have fun. That's amazing. Well, I love pizza. I like, I love pizza. I love spaghetti. I love lasagna. I love, what else do I like to eat? I love my junk food. I'm sorry, I know because I, I work out and I dance a lot, so that helps me stay in shape, but I love popcorn, especially kettle corn. Um, I love to, right, I love to eat rice. Oh my god, I know, but I love to eat healthy as well. Like, I eat a lot of salads. I love my fruits. I love my veggies. And it's important to make sure that you are healthy in life and make sure that you are eating the right foods or you can, um, you know, live a long, happy, healthy life. And that's important. You can't always eat what tastes good. I know the bad food tastes good and the good food tastes nasty, but not all of that is true. It's a lot of stuff that's healthy that I love to eat. So you have to make sure that you are healthy in life. Well, my music is coming along well. I'm actually recording, writing music, and it's coming along well. I, I've been writing and recording my new song since last summer, and I'm just taking my time, and I'm so excited because I cannot wait to put the music out this year, but I'm just taking my time and make sure it's the right project for me, and I'm so grateful that I have the love and support and people saying, you know, keep up the good work and keep doing what you're doing. This is your year. And that's how I feel. I feel like at the point at my life that I'm at now, this is my dedication. This is my year. And I'm ready to show people my talent. And I want to inspire a lot of people. And I'm ready to work hard this year to make sure that I'm able to... um follow my goals and dreams because I have so many amazing opportunities and that's a part of being successful working hard and just you know make sure I know my parents and my mom always make sure I relax my mom I love my mom and dad so much they tell me you know we proud of you we love you but make sure you don't overwork yourself because I know I do a lot so much and I don't have time to relax because I'm always Worrying about the next poem to write, the next edit to worry about, the next thing to do, and you know, the next occasion to attend, and do this and do that, and make sure that's out at the right time before this come out. It's a lot go through my mind, so you know, I have to relax and you know, enjoy my life sometimes. And I love what I do a lot, so that's difficult for me to relax and do nothing because I get bored very easily, so I have to get up and do something. <laughs> oh, my God.
<laughs> I am single, very single as we speak, but I do have a crush on somebody and I am in love with somebody and he makes me feel special and that's all I'm going to say right now. <laughs> thank y'all for watching my interview and thank you all for all the love and support. Thank you. I love y'all so much and I will keep you guys updated on my projects. I love y'all.